Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Curse of Oak Island ready to send someone underground. The guys on the Curse of Oak Island are ready to send someone underground. They have been searching for treasure for years. However, it now looks like they possibly found a tunnel to an underground shaft that might include some hidden treasure. Here is a look at what happened in this week's episode as they get closer to heading underground. Curse of Oak Island looking into Garden Shaft The guys on the Curse of Oak Island found a tunnel that looks like it heads straight to the Garden Shaft. This is a big deal because this was an area of interest for years. At one time, People dismiss the garden shaft as a searcher shaft. That might not be true. When gold was found in the water around that area, the guys determined it was more than just random flakes. There had to be more around there, and that opened up the idea of searching these tunnels again. Add in the discovery of wood with carbon-14 dating, and it was time to look into this area. Last week, Dumas Contracting Look showed up on the show and the Lagina brothers hired them to excavate the area of the garden shaft. The crew said it would only take 50 days and they could go about 75 feet down. They also said they could go in any direction and at any elevation the brothers wanted. For the first time, the Lagina brothers could send someone underground to look into these tunnels. While waiting, this week on Curse of Oak Island, the guys continued with borehole drilling where they think they found another tunnel into the garden shaft. This is because they are using new technology and machinery, including an XRF matching an XRD machine, and used these to show there was really a tunnel down there. What is in this underground shaft? This tunnel was heading in the direction of the garden shaft. It is a big deal because no one has seemed to explore this part of Oak Island. There is no historical documentation for this area of the island. What the Lagina brothers believe is that they might have just found a series of tunnels and chambers built by the people who brought the treasure to Oak Island. The question now is who built these chambers? There have been lots of theories, including the Templars and Masons. While these are still prevalent theories, there are also some new theories that the former king of France, King Louis XV, might have commissioned the tunnels and chambers on Oak Island that might hold all the hidden treasure. The air was thick with anticipation as the morning sun cast a golden glow over the dense woods of Oak Island. It was a day like any other for the Lagina brothers and their intrepid team of treasure hunters, but the island seemed to whisper of secrets long buried, urging them onward. Marty and Rick Lagina stood at the edge of the money pit the notorious sinkhole that had eluded treasure seekers for centuries. They were ready to send someone underground once again, diving into the depths of mystery that had haunted Oak Island for generations. Legends spoke of vast treasures buried on the island, pirate gold, lost manuscripts, and sacred artifacts, all protected by a series of cunning traps and treacherous conditions. The Curse of Oak Island, as the legend went, decreed that seven must die before the treasure could be found. Six lives had already been claimed over the years, a grim tally that added a weight of solemnity to the day's endeavor. The team had prepared meticulously, studying old maps, deciphering cryptic clues, and employing the latest technology to pinpoint the most promising locations. Today, they were focusing on a new shaft they had dubbed Eagle's Nest, Inspired by a recent discovery of a weathered stone engraved with a bird of prey, it was here they believed they might finally break the island's enigmatic curse. Jack Begley, the team's ever-enthusiastic member, volunteered to be the one to descend into the depths. He was equipped with the latest in spelunking gear, including oxygen tanks, ropes, and a communication system to stay in touch with the surface team. As he prepared, his heart pounded with a mix of excitement and trepidation. Each step closer to the edge was a step further into the unknown. Be careful down there, 
Rick cautioned, his voice steady but laced with concern. The bond between the team members was as strong as the promise of treasure that kept them going. Jack nodded, giving a thumbs up before securing his harness and beginning his descent. As Jack lowered himself into the shaft, the light from above grew dimmer, replaced by the eerie glow of his headlamp. The walls of the pit were rough, carved by hands long gone, and echoed with the history of those who had tried and failed to unveil the island's secrets. The deeper he went, the more he felt the weight of those who had come before him. After what felt like an eternity, Jack's feet touched solid ground. He found himself in a narrow tunnel, the air thick with the musty scent of earth and age. He took a moment to steady his breathing, then began to explore, his flashlight being cut through the darkness, revealing strange markings on the walls, symbols and runes that seemed to pulse with ancient energy. Back on the surface, the team monitored Jack's progress, the radio crackling with intermittent updates. I've reached the bottom, Jack reported. There's a tunnel here. It's, it feels different from the other sites. Marty exchanged a glance with Rick, both men silently hoping this would be the breakthrough they had longed for. Proceed with caution, Jack, Marty advised, his voice carrying the weight of both a leader and a friend. As Jack ventured deeper into the tunnel, he stumbled upon what appeared to be a chamber. His heart raced as his light revealed a large stone door intricately carved with more of the strange symbols. This was unlike anything they had encountered before. He ran his fingers over the carvings, feeling a connection to the past as if the stones themselves were whispering their secrets. I've found something. Jack's voice crackled over the radio. A stone door, heavily inscribed. This could be it. The team on the surface erupted into a flurry of activity, each member's mind racing with possibilities. Could this door be the final barrier between them and the legendary treasure? The culmination of years of work, sacrifice, and unyielding determination. Can you open it? Rick's voice came through, tinged with the cautious optimism that had carried them through countless setbacks. Jack examined the door more closely, noticing a series of depressions that might correspond to a hidden mechanism. Carefully, he began to press the stones in a sequence, guided by instinct and the hope that he was following the right path. As he pressed the final stone, a low rumble echoed through the chamber. The door began to move, ancient gears grinding as it slowly creaked open. Holding his breath, Jack stepped through the doorway, his headlamp revealing a sight that took his breath away. The chamber was filled with chests glittering with gold coins and jewels, and shelves lined with scrolls and artifacts that seemed to glow with an inner light. It was a treasure trove beyond their wildest dreams, a testament to the legends that had drawn them here. I found it. Jack's voice trembled with emotion. We found it. The treasure of Oak Island. Cheers erupted from the surface team, their jubilation echoing across the island. The curse had been broken, the seventh life spared, and the treasure that had eluded so many was finally within their grasp. As Jack began to catalog the incredible find, a sense of fulfillment washed over him. The journey had been long and fraught with peril, but it had led them to this moment of triumph. Oak Island had surrendered its secrets, rewarding those who had dared to uncover its mysteries with a legacy that would endure for generations to come. The curse was lifted, but the spirit of adventure that had driven the Lagina brothers and their team would never fade. For on Oak Island, every stone turned, every shaft dug, and every discovery made was a testament to the enduring human spirit and the relentless quest for knowledge and treasure.